Welcome everyone to Mantua. For those of you out there who are keen Shakespeare fans or fans of Romeo and Juliet, this is the place where Romeo was banished to. So far, from what I've seen, it reminds me quite a lot of Verona. It's a very pretty place, a very old looking town. Um, some of the buildings look like they need a little bit of TLC, but it's another lovely sunny day. I've managed to drop off my bags and check in early, so that's good. Now I can have a wander and see a bit more of this place. I'm in the Palazzo Ducal, which is a palace, um, and there's an apartment of tapestries. And look at all these huge, huge tapestries. I have also been learning all about tempera, which is a style of painting. Uh, not to be confused with tempura, which is like a batter that you've battered vegetables and that in. It's a style of painting where they make it like a mayonnaise. Paint is mixed with eggs and oil, because then it dries slower. So, I don't know. They've got longer to work on it, on the walls, because fresco is where it's on the wet plaster, but obviously plaster dries quite quickly, so they've got to work quite quickly. So, yeah, I've learned about that today. Excuse the big hair today, um, I let it dry naturally in the wind so it's gonna be a bit, bit big. Mantua is pretty small, it's lovely though. I kind of did, I was around most of the sites yesterday which was lovely and I got to see so much stuff but I don't really have too much left that I want to do today so I decided just to take a day to just not really do anything. I'm having a wander now along by the lake. It's really misty so you can't see it too well probably in this camera. But yeah, so I'm just going for a walk, taking in some of the beautiful scenery. I'm not really doing too much. Nice to have a bit of downtime, a bit of a more of a chilled day. The Italians actually have a saying, dolce far niente, which basically means the sweetness of doing nothing. So I'm going to take some time just to enjoy not doing very much at all actually and just being here and being in the moment. I'm going to do a blog post about it I think because we spend too much of our times in the past or in the future and forget to actually enjoy where we are. Like I've spent so much time looking back on previous trips and looking forward to this trip but what's the point unless I'm actually here in the moment enjoying this trip what was all that planning for so I'm just gonna enjoy being here being present being in a beautiful place in Italy I went for a walk along the lakefront and it was lovely I ended up walking along the outskirts of Mantua and I know I keep saying it's a small place, it really is. It took me about three and a half hours and I've done a circle of the entire town. It was a nice walk along by the water. But I've come back into the center of town. If you look behind me, there's this big market going on. It's a Sunday, so I don't know if they do it every Sunday, but it's lovely for of little knickknacks and old antique bits. I have now come to the end of my stay in Mantua. Apologies if you can hear my suitcase like along behind me in the background, I've got a train to catch. Mantua is lovely. There is a lot to see and do from the beautiful palazzo to the, all the lovely churches. There's so much you can see. But I'd suggest one of the best ways to check it out is to just have a wander around, see all the little parks, the piazzas, sit and people watch, get coffee. It's, it's a very relaxing place. The architecture, I mean, all the buildings are quite old and typically Italian, so there's you're not lacking for things to see when you're wandering around. It's, it's a lovely place. I'm off to Brescia now for a quick whistle stop tour there, so catch up with you there.